Good day, good day, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Out here taking my routine bicycle ride and I'm doing it nighttime, nighttime, to switch things up a little bit, just to switch things up a little bit. And today we're gonna to talk about being kind to yourself. And speaking of that, you know what? I just got myself a new Levelier mic. Uh, Levelier mic and I got it hooked up right there. You see that with the little windbreaker thing right there? Yeah, shout out to Kevin Samuels. He gave me that little tip. Okay, the road go level air mic. Shout out to Kevin Samuels, and uh, hopefully the audio quality can attest to that. This is my inaugural test of it. And today we're talking about being kind to your future self. Be kind to your future self. And this is in line with our conversation about being internally comfortable. So, be kind to your future self. What is that about? What am I talking about, okay? So, we hear a lot of things about being kind to yourself, love yourself, self-care, self-love, self-esteem, so on and so forth. And if you're like me, that sounds like a lot of, you know, a lot of psychobabble, a lot of amorphous stuff, stuff you cannot really measure. Like, what do I do with that? How can I measure that? How can I actually make it actionable? and practical right so in thinking about it a little further i thought about this perhaps we can make it actionable and practical by putting it this way be kind to your future self by doing a couple of things and these things we can put in two broad categories first number one number one remove obstacles from the way Remove obstacles from the path of your future self. What do I mean by that? Okay, so I know I got to take a bicycle ride in the morning or you know you got to go to the gym in the morning. So, make it easier for yourself. Say, hey, present self, let's make it easier for future Ike. Let's lay out our clothes, our shoes. Lay out the gloves, okay? Lay out the gloves, lay out the shoes, lay out the clothes so that it's easy for future Ike to roll out of bed, hop into the shoes and go for the run. So it's easy for future Ike to roll out of bed and hop into the bicycle. Put the helmet in a place where it's easy to reach, okay? Lay out your bicycle shoes, your workout shoes, your gym clothes. Remove obstacles from the path. Remove the friction from the path of your future self. This is one way to be kind to your future self. And the other broad category of things you can do to be kind to your future self, and then we'll talk about what you actually gain from this, The other category is the reverse, is the inverse of the first category, which is do not, do not put obstacles in the path of your future self, okay? Do not put obstacles in the path of your future self. Now, I'm not talking about something as complex as self-sabotage, as deeply psychological as self-sabotage. I'm just talking about procrastination and to-do lists. So when you're downstairs in the morning making a cup of coffee, okay, and you see in the sink that there are dishes in the sink, Okay? Rather than say, hey, you know what? I'm good. That's not a problem for morning Ike. That's a problem for afternoon Ike. When Ike comes down in the afternoon, he's going to take care of it. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Take care of the dishes now. Don't saddle your future self with burdens, with to-do lists, and procrastination. Okay? Do not procrastinate and saddle your future self with burdens and to-do lists, okay? So number one, remove the obstacles, and number two, don't actively place obstacles. So what does this do for you? What kind of practical effects will this actually have for you? Well, number one, guess what? When you come downstairs and you are faced, rather than being faced with a dirty sink, a sink full of dirty dishes. When I come downstairs in the afternoon and I see a clean sink, ah, I'm gonna breathe a sigh of relief and I'm gonna say, you know what? That Ike guy is cool. That past Ike, he's all right with me. Guess what that is? That self-esteem, that builds self-esteem. So this is a way, an actionable way, a practical way of building self-esteem by simply not saddling my future self with obstacles. What else does it do for you? Well, it allows you to achieve the tasks, okay? 
I know it's not easy to wake up in the morning and go for a bicycle ride or go for a run or go to the gym. Therefore, I lay out my clothes. I have a meeting. Pull out your shoes, pull out your cufflinks, put your laptop inside the bag and put it in the car. Set the coffee machine, make it easier for you to achieve those tasks. So you definitely achieve the tasks. And what's the third thing that it does for you? The third thing that it does for you is actually makes your present self more efficient. Because guess what? <laughs> okay? If you don't do those dishes in the morning or if you keep procrastinating, you're going to saddle yourself and bear yourself down and grind your gears with to-do lists, either consciously or unconsciously. You're going to be walking around with things that you have to do, things that you have to manage, lists you have to keep, promises you have to keep, in other words, right? You're saddling yourself with burdens, and thereby your present self is not as efficient. So, remove obstacles from the path of your future self, and do not actively place through procrastination and list-making obstacles for your future self. Okay? And that way, when your present self rolls into the future, it can look at the past self and say, Hey, you know what? That guy is okay with me. I like that guy. This is a way of making self-care and self-love actionable and a way of improving yourself and making those tasks get done and a way of making your present self more efficient by removing all the detrimental effects of procrastination and all the detrimental effects of having to-do lists in your head okay so it's fairly simple fairly simple ladies and gentlemen be kind to your future self by removing tasks by removing obstacles that is and not actively placing obstacles this will increase your self-esteem for yourself it'll make it easier for you to forgive your past self we all make mistakes we all make mistakes but guess what how do we start cleaning up our reputation with ourselves Start by using your present self, okay? Taking your present self and clearing up the obstacles for your future self so that when your present self rolls into the future, it's going to look back and say, you know what? That I guy, he's all right with me. Yeah, sure, he makes a few mistakes and so on and so forth, but he makes my life easier. He makes it such that I come down in the morning and I see a clean sink. It makes it such that I can easily roll out of bed and get into my gym shoes it makes it such that I can easily roll out of my bed and I'm already prepared for the meeting my shirt is already ironed and so on and so forth that Ike guy he's all right with me okay so this is what it does for you this is how you make self-care actionable and this is how you actually can improve your efficiency and effectiveness in the world by simply being kind to your future self now let me know what you think about this leave a comment is this something that you practice? Okay, let us know if you have actually put obstacles. Let us know the ways in which you procrastinated and put obstacles in front of yourself or the ways in which you try to remove these obstacles, okay? Let us know your experience with this. Let us know your thoughts. Share, subscribe to the YouTube channel, okay? And uh, peace and love. Bye.